Hi, Victor Cormier here with the uh, second part of uh, timing. I tried thousands of experiments, did, you know, different scenarios, all possibilities, angles, going through theories, proving them right or wrong. All of this is done on your behalf so that you don't have to go through all the frustrations and problems that I went through. Did you know that any athlete can improve their basic timing by 50 to 65% within just a few minutes? Also, it can improve at higher percentages with a few hours of training. I developed this system uh, of uh, Mr. Fix-It for sports and, and timing uh, for my own selfish reasons. I wanted to solve my own um, problems in karate. And I didn't want anybody else to know or, or find out anything about my discoveries. Only after my own karate schools broke all national records that... Uh, uh, and, and with the increasing pressure from, from other uh, sports that I divulged my system. I knew it worked for karate, but I wasn't sure if it would work for other sports. I took the same basics and customized it to other sports, and, and they started to experience the same drastic improvements that we had accomplished in karate. Remember, uh, I've been there in your shoes experiencing and... Uh, and I went through what you're going through in your own sport. Um, I turned from being selfish to uh, an outlook of wanting to help any and all athletes to uh, eliminate their problems, frustrations, and concerns, while finally allowing them to uh, the freedom and the joy of having the most perfect performance in their favorite sport. It's like a recipe in baking a cake. You just have to follow the instructions, add the ingredients, and follow the uh, the instructions and and you'll bake the perfect cake it doesn't matter if you bake one cake or a thousand if you follow the recipe then you won't have any problems simple right yes it's it is that simple when you're giving a system like mr. fix it for sport because it is like having a recipe that will take you by the hand show you all the information um, uh, all the guidance the step-by-step -step process, and we will give you the, uh, the recipe to having the perfect timing. Why is timing so important? Let me give you uh, the following example, which will show you how this timing coordination and communication works. If you had a heat or air conditioning uh, thermostat in your home, then if you want more heat in the winter, uh, you just have to go to the thermostat and regulate the heat to the comfort level that you want. Simple. Same thing as in the summer. If you want air conditioning to a uh, comfortable level, then you just go to the thermostat and regulate it accordingly. Athletes have a uh, so-called mental thermostat or cruise control, but they don't know uh, the location, what it does, um, when they should use it, why it works, and how to regulate it for their uh, sports performance. See, all athletes have the tools of timing within them, but the big problem comes in when uh, things start to break down in practice or in competition. They don't know how to use this timing tool, which will get them back on the winning track. If they only knew about it and how to regulate it for their sport, then they would get back on track, but they just don't know where to look or what to do. So that's how they just train hard, get in better shape, and with hope things will work out. But it doesn't work out if you don't know how to fix it or you don't fix it, period. 99% uh, of athletes don't know anything about timing. Nat natural athletes have great timing, but it will break down. The day that it does break down is when the problems, frustrations, and concerns make themselves known in the worst way. Uh, at this point is where athletes will uh, seek out the top coaches and gurus uh, to help them back on track. I know what you're going through because I went through the same things for karate. It's not a nice place uh, to be or experience, period. The top coaches and gurus uh, don't have a clue on how to fix these timing problems because they haven't been exposed to or given uh, instructions in these areas. So the only thing they uh, 
know how to do is to advise you to train harder, get in tip-top shape, and within time, things will work themselves out. But it doesn't happen. You can take all the time in the world if you're doing something wrong uh, for millions of times. If you don't correct it, you're still going to do it wrong for the next million times. Uh, practicing one million times won't fix timing problems. Think about the following example to see uh, if it makes any sense. When an athlete or team has a bad performance, for example, the athlete, you know, uh, feels bad enough, and you really don't know uh, a lot of the time what the, you know, what they did wrong or how to fix the performance problems, and they get down on themselves and experience or go into a slump, performance slump. What the coach does in the next uh, practice is to work the living crap out of them as, as for punishment and thinking that this will solve the performance problems. Now, how's that for psychology? Step one, player or team has a bad performance. Step two, they feel bad enough, but they don't know what went wrong or how to fix it. Step three, the coach doesn't know either how to fix the problems, but feels compelled to do something but he's not sure what. Step four, next practice, the coach gives the players, the athlete or the team, a punishing workout uh, without telling them or being able to show them uh, what the problems were or how to fix it. The above uh, scenario is a, is a vicious cycle that a, um, a lot of sports have and go through and will continue to go through because of the lack of knowledge on how to fix these problems, concerns, and frustrations that uh, timing would, will solve and the Mr. Fix-It for, for sports system can solve once and for all. Have you ever heard or experienced the following list of comments? We were off in our game or performance, they might say. They got the jump on us. Couldn't seem to catch up for whatever reason. Just didn't have it together. Maybe the timing was off. We never really got back into the game, and the list goes on and on. In those, in the above list uh, of comments, is is because their timing is off. Get the timing on again, and you won't have those problems and a lot of other problems that stem from not having good timing. Now you might be thinking this sounds like it could be a little complicated. Well, it's a very simple technique and process to implement in any sport. You know, you take the example of a remote control car starter. You don't have to understand the whole electronics and of how it works to be able to start your car. The only thing you, that is important to me is when I press the little button usually located on my keychain that it makes my car start. That's it. I'm happy. Aren't you when you use yours? In timing training, I show you the what, when, where, why, and how to use your so-called um, car starter while using timing. I, I will take you by the hand through a simple process and show you step-by-step step how timing works uh, for all athletes in any sport, guaranteed. You'll also be able to pinpoint and diagnose your own timing problems and be able to correct them not in six months or years, but in a few short minutes to a couple of hours training uh, with this system. Um, you'll have the ability to show others how to do this or just keep the, the knowledge for yourself, giving you the ultimate advantage over your competition and other athletes. Now you can practice and train less, use less energy, have better performance while eliminating uh, the stress, frustrations out of your sport for good. Would you like to know more about timing training and uh, uh, the other um, eight secrets of uh, Mr. Fix-It for Sports, you just have to go to www.victorcormier.com. That's www.victorcormier.com. as in Mary, I-E-R.com. And we will uh, um, give you a free report and also free lessons on this system.